Hey guys, I just caught a clip uh, where Mr. Beast himself is talking about his Crohn's disease and how much it is wrecking his life. It hurts like crazy because it gets very inflamed and it feels like someone's stabbing you in the gut with like a knife constantly when it's really, really bad. All right, first let's talk about what actually is Crohn's disease. So it is an autoimmune inflammatory condition attacking your gut, causing pain, diarrhea, bleeding, and malnutrition. The immune system uh, basically is going haywire and it is now attacking itself. I just started going to the bathroom eight, nine, 10 times a day, not digesting any food because my GI tract is like uh, literally just attacking itself. It's very weird. Almost 50% of people with Crohn's disease will end up losing part of their gut to surgery. The solution is usually a bunch of steroid medications or an anti-inflammatory, uh, a bunch of immune suppressants, which uh, Jimmy has told us that he has been taking. I'm on a pretty extreme medicine called Remicade, where it just basically you nuke your immune system, which is why my voice sounds a little off right now because I just got, got the flu, I got COVID six times, I got shingles. But here's the cold truth. These don't actually cure Crohn's disease. They just mask the symptoms while the disease continues silently progressing. I get sick all the time because for me to have my GI tract stop attacking itself, we basically have to shut down my immune system. They treat the immune system like it's broken machinery instead of asking, uh, why is it attacking itself in the first place? I just live life on hard mode, to be honest. Like if someone, like if you wake up and you have energy, like you're already leaps and bounds ahead of me. Like I, you know, it's, it makes things way more difficult. All right, so the biggest driver is what we eat. Our modern Western diet loaded with refined carbs, processed food, vegetable oils, sugar, which uh, fuels gut inflammation. These foods disrupt the gut lining, alter your microbiome, and set the stage for autoimmune flare-ups. Crohn's flares aren't just some random thing. They're aggravated by the crap we feed ourselves every single day. You know, I've met with the top Crohn's doctors in the world and. So far, they're like, this is just the answer, and you're just lucky your you know, gut isn't attacking yourself. You know, imagine you're a 15-year-old kid, and, and you come home with a diagnosis of Crohn's disease, and the physicians tell you, you know, hey, kid, you know, we're going to put you on some steroids, uh, you know, immunosuppressive drugs, and you're going to have to be on these drugs for the rest of your life, and there's about a 40% chance you're going to lose some of your intestine. You know, the thing that really is you know, totally shocking to me is almost none of these people get any kind of dietary advice. And in fact, if you talk to most gastroenterologists, they will say that diseases like Crohn's disease or also colitis, uh, which are forms of inflammatory bowel disease, have nothing to do with diet, which is one of the most preposterous, you know, things you can possibly say. It's like saying that, you know, broken bones have nothing to do with trauma. Our gut is designed to bring things from the outside in. If they didn't, if our gut didn't bring things in, we would all starve to death. And that's why 70% of our immune system resides in our gut. The plan that I'm about to outline is backed by science. Mr. Beast or anyone with Crohn's disease can follow this exact protocol to actually fix the problem, not just cover it up. This study was just recently published within the last year. I looked at several people that had inflammatory bowel disease. So this included both Crohn's disease and also colitis. And these people were pretty darn sick. You know, we looked at their, you know, uh, symptom scores and they had significant symptoms. Some of them were on the verge of losing uh, intestines. Some of them had already. And by going on a, you know, fairly restrictive keto carnivore diet, you know, you know, focusing on animal products, removing all the healthy grains and vegetables and things like that, they actually got better. They got so well that most of them, in fact, all of them came off all medications and their disease effectively was completely silent. They went into effectively full remission by a simple dietary change. And you know, you listen to a lot of these gastroenterologists and they'll tell you that diet has nothing to do with inflammatory bowel disease, which is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. So we have documented literature showing these people are you know, in full remission. I have seen this exact same story played out countless numbers of times over and over again. In fact, in my view, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, the carnivore diet is one of the most effective tools for that. And that may be one of the best indications for a carnivore diet. Jimmy, consider this your official challenge. Stick to this plan for 90 days and see what real healing looks like. So the first uh, thing we're going to do is we're going to assess what's going on. We want to get some baseline labs, maybe some baseline imaging, figure out what's going on symptomatically. There are all kinds of clinically validated symptomatic checklists that you can 
assess the degree and the severity of the particular disease. Okay, the next step would be an initial removal of likely problematic, uh, you know, irritants. And these would be things like grains, sugars, certainly ultra-processed foods, things of that nature. And so now you're left with basically unprocessed single ingredient foods as a baseline to see. Uh, you may run with that for a period of time, maybe a month, two, three months, see how they're doing. Uh, make adjustments uh, as necessary. Okay, step three in this process is reassess, uh, see how things are, make the adjustments that you need to do, and then proceed from there. Now, our fourth step is symptom resolution. People with inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, resolve completely their symptoms by using a generally an animal-based ketogenic diet or aka a carnivore diet. So this is something that we can often expect to see so full symptom resolution. Now step five, uh, we wanna verify that, that everything's gone. So maybe reassessment of laboratory markers, perhaps some more imaging. And at that point, it gets to where we can potentially remove medications. If people are still on medications, this is a good point to say, hey, we, let's, let's try coming off the medications. And at this point, step six comes into place. Right, let's take a minute to talk about why, you know, why make these videos in the first place? There are, I mean, literally millions of people suffering with Crohn's disease and other, and other diseases, quite frankly, ulcerative colitis, lots of autoimmune diseases that we see almost every day. And they are unfortunately being lost to the system. They are just basically being symptom managed. And, you know, their lives are significantly compromised because of that, because we just don't take the, the time to understand why this is going on and look at all the possible things that could be done, the patients become disempowered and dependent upon a drug and pharmaceutical system, which unfortunately uh, doesn't really do a very good job. This is why uh, I helped create Rivero and why we have physicians that uh, are finally having a good time practicing medicine because they actually see patients getting healthy again. And of course, it's great for the patients because the patients actually are, you know, seeing their diseases go into remission. So many people have complained about the healthcare system, but now we're finally doing something about it. And I'm so proud and happy to be part of Rivero. Hopefully you'll check it out. If you know somebody that you think could benefit, send them our way and we'll do the best we can to, to get them healthy and happy and return them to a, a full productive and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, joyful life. And step six basically is a time to consider reintroduction of other foods. So, you know, maybe someone's on a very strict form of a carnivore diet, they've come off their medications. And now at this point, it might be time to reintroduce typically single ingredient whole foods. You know, these things might be fruits, vegetables, and, and other types of foods that they may be able to tolerate, and it may allow them to uh, have a more sustainable diet uh, in that respect. Mr. Beast, check this out. If you need help, I'm happy to help you out. All right, y'all take care.